Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here, and is it possible to print a helmet with no supports on the inside? Watch this. So, I get this question a lot. <clears throat> And so I made a, a video about print orientation right here. But one day I asked myself, I said, self, and myself said, yeah. Said, Can you really print this with no supports on the inside? And so I tried it twice. Show you right now. So what I have here is the carnage head. Um, you guys can grab this file from my website at nicoindustries.com. Links in the bottom of the video as usual. So what I'm going to do here is I am not going to put any supports inside. I'm just going to put oh, I'm just going to put supports all around the side right here and that's it. So we're going to go to here add new support structures and we're just going to go along the lines here but I'm not going to do the rest of it. I'm just going to fast forward onto the print. So basically we're just going to put all around here and wherever else you're going to feel like you need it. Um, you need some. So you're going to need some right here underneath the, um, the, the lower jaw connection there. Um, also right there for the jaw stopper and right there also for underneath for the, um, the, where the rubber band goes for the articulation. Don't mind my fridge, it's making ice. <laughs> if you guys can hear that. Anyway, so we're not going to put anything on the inside for over here for the for the dome. It's basically just going to go around this the sides right here, obviously with the teeth. And then we're going to print it. So let's go ahead and do that. So check it out, everybody. This carnage is printing with no supports on the inside. The only support you guys see is along this the bottom right here, so you can print it up right but on the inside there's no support and it's looking like it's printing pretty good so yeah I guess we can do it with no support on the inside oh. and the carnage is done as you guys can see inside there's some stringing in there but no supports printed good up top so yeah I guess you can do it check that out all right so he printed fine okay um the video for this guy right here finished him so i wanted to see if i could do it again because fool me once shame on you fool me twice you can't fool me again is it like george bush right anyway here's spawn okay so that worked that was awesome so now i want to try it again just to make sure that I'm not losing my mind and that actually really worked. So we're going to do this spawn right now. Um, spawn is also available in my shop if you guys want to go grab that. Um, you guys can download it instantly. And I would suggest printing this in TPU, by the way, some flexible filament. Anyway, we're going to do the same thing. This time we're going to put some supports in the eyes also, as well as along the, um, the, the rim right here where you put the, the, the mask on. So we're just gonna do that. Same way, add new support structures along the eyes, blah, blah, blah. And then along the rim right here. Now this is time consuming, yes. But if you don't wanna use up filament on supports, um, this uses a lot of supports when you print a helmet because especially if you're printing it right side up and so yeah I, I think it's worth it considering it's almost like 25 bucks for a roll of flexible filament for these so let's go ahead and get the rest of these supports in and then we'll print it out and i'll show you guys what it looks like all right so this one also didn't have any supports it's just on the inside i mean nothing on the inside See, nothing at all and it printed great um, obviously you got your little thing up top but nothing that Alex Lex can't fix 
So that's Spawn. There's going to be another video on him later. But yeah, you, you can print helmets right side up, no supports. Bang, check that out. So that printed out great also. Even did the lights on this puppy. He also has his own video right here. You guys want to check him out. But yeah, so you guys can't print these with um, with no supports on the inside for the for the dome. Flexible filament especially is, is, is expensive. Um, they're like 25 bucks a roll and for, for us to spend time on it and, and, and filament on just supports sucks and so um, I wanted to maximize the, the rolls. So you guys can do it. And so it's possible. I showed you guys. We did it. Haha. <laughs> And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys um, want to get the files that you guys see here, they're in the uh, shop and the links down below. Um, shout out to all the guys in the 3D printed armor when weapons props Facebook group. Um, Brandon Davids from Brandon's TV. He's in there. He's cool. Um, hi to Dylan and and Jagger, his kids. Um, who else is in there? A bunch of guys that are in there. Andre Angeloni, he's also a good designer. Uh, go check him out. He's cool. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs> we're going to be doing... I want to make this more symbiote. So we're going to do a video on how to do that. Like, he had like these little like lines and stuff right here. Like, like the Venom bus. He's got some stuff on... I'll catch you guys later. Like, subscribe.